James from Epilog Laser. So for today's sample, we're going to be taking a look at a question that was asked in our Glass Masterclass on how you could actually take the coordinates from your display panel to find an exact center point for engraving. Today we're going to be using a bottle that we've pre-engraved with a wraparound graphic. Now a lot of customers like to do the final customization at the end, so what we've done is left an area where we can add in the name of the winery and a custom message for the customer that can be engraved to the last minute. And you can find that center point really easily with this method. Let's go ahead and get started. So here in our graphic software, we can see our image that we've engraved already, which is this uh, terrain map pattern. And we've got the name of the vineyard. So now we just need to add our custom message. So in this area, I'm just going to type in Happy 50th Mark. We'll go ahead and center that. And I'll choose my font. So now I can just uh, customize that however I want to make it the right size for the space that we have to engrave. And then we'll use one of the tricks from that uh, glass master class, which is we're going to separate the dots a little bit to get a nice frosted appearance on the engraving. And I'll choose 60% black for the coloring. So I'm happy with that. Just going to grab all of that. I'll align them vertically. Whoops. I'm going to align those vertically to each other. And then I'll align it horizontally to the page. So we've centered it under our graphic. Go ahead and print that selection only. So I've chosen the epilogue engraver selection only. So we've got just that part of the graphic. And click print. Now, when that opens in our uh, laser dashboard, I can just go in the advanced tab, turn on my rotary attachment, and set the centering point to center center. So I can see that that red dot where the center point is once we set that in the machine, where it's going to uh, engrave around. I'll import my glass settings. I'll turn that down to 300 DPI, 70% speed, 100% power. And this is on an 80 watt uh, Fusion Edge 24. And I'm going to set my dithering to Stucky and click print. And we'll send that over to the laser. So we've got that red dot pointer top left graphic. That's at 0.442x. And if I scroll out to the right side, I can just get that right over that edge. I can see 7.057. Now what I'm going to do is add those two numbers together and then divide by two to find my centering point. And that comes out to 3.74. So I'll just scroll this over, tell them right around 3.74. And I can use the arrow to nudge this over just a little bit till we're right there. So almost. That looks good. I'll hit X just to lock that in place. Now for the Y position, we can see that we're at 1.792. Uh, that's the R number. So I'll just write that down and then scroll this up until we just touch that top line. And I can see I'm at 0.363. Now if I add those two numbers together, divide by two, I get 1.071. So I'm just going to move this back down until I'm right at 1.071 or close to that and use the arrows to nudge that into place. Once I'm happy, now I can hit centering point and my position's ready to go. So now we'll just hit go 
and we'll start engraving around that centering point. So let's see how it comes out. That looks really nice. Uh, it's a nice frosted look, perfectly positioned and ready to go to sell. That looks just like I want it to. So that's a super easy way to find that exact centering point when you're doing a custom engraving. Now, this works great on bottles, but you can also use this on a flat surface as well. Just find those two coordinates and divide by two to find that exact centering point. Now, I hope you found this tip helpful and please join us again. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you find out when the latest videos are coming out from Epilogue. And if you'd like to find out more about Epilogue Laser or to set up a demo, be sure to click uh, the link in our description below. Thanks and have a great day.